Well, listen, as we know, we have a, uh, a, a shoe fanatic in the house, man. We all, everybody likes shoes. Eldridge does his shoe check. He mm. loves to do his little Instagram shoe check and everything. But like uh, the man who streams with a whole warehouse behind him, <laughs> Jesus Christ, has... How many, do we know how many we, shoes you have in the, no, you can't even put it, you don't even want to count. There's a lot. <laughs> Quite a bit. Don't want to know because it just, yeah, I'd rather not. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. Wow. My investment is quite a bit. Yes. Understandable. Yes. But listen, Steez has put together a shoe and tell for us of the Costin One shoe. Mm. And uh, we're going to be pulling up some video clips uh, to talk about here. But uh, go Love ahead, Steez. What do you want? What do you want to tell people about the Costin One? Well, Costin for... One S or Nike? Can I get? Can oh, I, sorry. Can I take my? Well, no. I, just, <laughs> I, I mean, you said I, that's why I was just like, which shoe are you talking about? But yeah, go for it. Thanks, is it Kelly. the Costin <laughs> One or the Costin? So... Is it a Nike? Is it a, the? Which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing the same. <laughs> <laughs> no, so when I started skating in '96, uh, you know, when you first pick up skateboarding, you don't have the proper equipment. You just fucking skate in what you have and get hand me downs or whatnot. But the very first pair of real skate shoes I ever owned was the S Costin One. Mm. So I wanted to do something surrounding the shoe that kind of like was my introduction to skate shoes. Mm. And I went through and pulled some clips that stuck out to me. And they're specifically the three colorways of the Costin one that I own personally. And just wanted to kind of go down, you know, memory lane. This was a great colorway, by the way. That's yes. the, white, the, so the white and blue. Yeah. Uh, the, the yellow. Yellow. Yes. So I don't know if I've ever said it on this show before, but Fulfill the Dream is my favorite video of all time. Okay. No. Yes. What video? Yes. So, yeah. I mean, you have said that, yes. <laughs> you and me, you know, riding horses, the whole thing. I, I get you. And oh, also, spoiler alert, none of these clips are of Eric. <laughs> 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 but I, the very first video I ever owned was Fulfill the Dream. First video I saw was Rhythm Genesis, but this was the one that was like, okay, this is mine. Like, well, I, I'm a skateboarder now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Sammy Baptista used to always rock mm -hmm. the constant ones. And that specific colorway was the very first colorway I ever owned. And that, I just, something about the way he rocked them, especially with the khakis and stuff like that Dude, back that in that so time good. as yeah. well. It was just like, okay, I that's the one I want. And I really wish I still had the CCS that I ordered them from because we've talked about it before. You would go through and circle the shoe that you want. Yeah. And like, it was just With the mm, blue laces though mm -hmm. when he swapped Ooh. the laces out yeah the blue laces look sick Man. so they had and they had like the little yellow eyelid at the very top yep mm -hmm. and it's just something about i think even and also funny thing about the costume one that was the first skate shoe that ever utilized the the airbag technology mm -hmm. because nike had a patent on it up until eric's shoe came out and oh. they put that in that uh in the costume one never so knew that also Did, another do you mean airbag as in like the air bubble mm -hmm. is that what you okay yeah I always tripped them. Like, they, what had is a that? they had a patent on that? Nike did up until, I, I don't know if it was it ran out or if it I was. I think they uh, run out after yeah, a while. Yeah. And they were able at that time randomly to utilize it for his shoe as well. Amazing. It's a great, wow. great looking shoe, man. Absolutely. So it just made sk the skater look that much yeah, better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was the first shoe I saw. We were like, whoa, what are what, like, yeah. I want to know like what those are. When they came out, dude, it was like I saw them in Mouse, and they weren't even out yet. I don't think. Okay. And, and then, uh, but yeah, that was the first shoe that made me. Sounds weird, but like it like made you feel something. At One thousand mm. percent. Yeah. You're yeah. Like, mm -hmm. You yep. just looked at it, you're like, yo, this shoe is Bro, super ill. I like, remember getting them in the mail, and I maybe slept for two hours the night before <laughs> yeah. I was gonna wear them to school the oh, next day. Oh, dude. Because that was for me. That was this was seventh grade. That was like I'm going to school as a skateboarder. Oh, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. What I mean? Was that was that with the first day of school? No, it wasn't the first okay. day. It was a little bit into it, but it was. I just remember like the feeling of getting those shoes in and being like, okay, it's official. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? that's amazing. And Dude. it was that specific colorway. And shout out to Sammy for he rocked a, a few different colorways and fulfilled a dream. But I just remember seeing this, and I was like, when you saw it in the the CCS, and it was just like, man, I gotta have those. Ooh, yeah. And man. luckily, I was fortunate enough to get them. Ooh, this one. Colorway man. number two, black PJ. and gray. PJ wore these quite a bit in uh, PJ Lad's Wonderful Horrible Life, and this whole section right here, Killed he just. It destroyed oh my god dude! and that was the second colorway of the costume uh costume one that i that i own 
And I just, we've talked about wonderful, wonderful, horrible life numerous <laughs> times on this this show before. And if you haven't seen PJ's part, please Man, go watch it. Dude. That shit's still relevant today. Hell yeah, absolutely, Forever. straight up. Man, the black dude. shoes with the white laces. Mm, I uh, yeah, I yeah. fuck with it, but it wasn't my go to. Yeah. I loved it. I just well, when, especially if there were white soles too. Right. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's when it really tied yeah. the shoe together. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, this one, the the black and gray. I don't know if it really got a lot of love. Uh, but it was just... I don't I, remember yeah. seeing it too much. I yeah. don't remember seeing it too much. I, yeah, for sure. It wasn't like... I never heard too much about it, mm -hmm. but it looked good. I yeah. never had a pair of those ones, but yeah, that was a good one. The black with the gum was the one that got me. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That, that there's there's three, the, yeah. There was three original first colors. The white and gum, brown... Or I'm sorry, white what? gum, navy gum, black gum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yep. beautiful. Yeah. You so, want, and, want, can I show you something real quick? Yeah, dude? of course. Uh, um... I think at this time there was a skate shop in, in uh, Kansas City called Let It Ride, and I obviously as I was coming up in the holy shit, <sighs> beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> uh, some little we want to know <laughs> little, little sample I saw, uh, showed him of a uh, a oh, shoe. what's to come a, a shoe, what's to come a shoe that we're talking about just the shoe there you go just the shoe. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Okay. There you go. Okay, okay. Um, but as I was coming up in the skate scene in Kansas City, obviously being as tall as I am and having big feet, you know, you had to make friends with people at the skate shops. Um, and that just happened to be one of the colorways that they were able to get in my size at the time. I think I was wearing a 13 at that time. Oh, okay. So it was that was why that was uh, available to me. But yeah, I just. Another one, PJ, fucking amazing. Did, did you get the shoes like consecutively back to back? No, it wasn't back to back. Okay, because no. I would do that too. I would I, like I had the same shoe. I'd be like, I'm getting the same I wish, one. Yeah, yeah. I wish I had the luxury. I remember him wearing. Yeah, Arto. Yeah. So yeah, this he, was monumental too. From Boy El Toro back in the day, and the that's that colorway that I remember. Mm -hmm. Was it the navy right there? No, was, that, that was a black and gray. Those are black and gray. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I could, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was just I don't know something about that shoe with the E on the side. It, it just and at that time, I don't even know we were calling it S. We were calling it E S. Yeah, that was just how no, we. Yeah, nobody was, really knew. Well, do you remember we talk about it sometimes? We're like, well, I heard Lavar's talk about. It. I mean, his, his uh his profiles. I think it was in four and one, mm -hmm. and he's like freestyling in the beginning. He's like, I arrive, I get shoes from E S. I guess. So when you hear a pro say yeah. that, you're like, oh, it's E S. Right. Uh -huh. And then he was just like, you know, just. Just I think the first time I ever heard it pronounced properly was at the end of a four on one. Lance Mountain was talking about the next issue, and it was an S road trip, or oh. it was some kind of road trip, and he was like, "All the S guys." And I was like, "Oh, that's how you say yeah. it, <laughs> <laughs> dude." And then the third and final colorway that I had was the brown and gum, and this uh, is uh, Rodrigo. A little switch in with he'll switch Manny. You, you never saw that one too much. It was a good yeah, one. No. Huh? Do we know how many colorways that shoe had? So many. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it had bought it. Eric's first house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a lot because yeah. those panelings led to so many yeah. different options. I legitimately remember being a kid and going to the skate shop and seeing it would be like a row of Costin Ones, a row of Reynolds Ones, a mm. row of, you know, mm. Rollies. Like yeah. it was just at that time. All the colorways were out at the same time on the same yeah. shoe and they, they were flying off the shelves. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And they were like a hundred bucks, like it's still roughly the same price. Uh, it was like, fairly, yeah, expensive. Yeah, that I want more say, expensive. Shoe. I, yeah, I want. It was that was that time where the, that like just started hundred dollar skate shoe. Mm -hmm. Like that was right around that same time, right? I want to say they were like eighty nine. Yeah, I don't okay. think it was a hundred. Yeah. I definitely I think it was Muska, teetering. I think Muska. Muska's my yeah. Yeah. sky ties and all that shit yeah. for sure. The um the stash pocket with the, yeah. the Muskas and all that, yeah. and then the circus started to really yeah, yeah push that Ooh. the envelope. Uh, but yeah, all this of uh, Rodrigo from uh, Can't Stop the Firm. Yes, he has two parts. Two yeah. parts. Yeah, I went to that premiere and like, you're like sick. That part was dope. The first one, and then you're like, wait, what? <laughs> like that was the first time I had seen that. The first uh, was it? That wasn't the first part, was it? He had yeah. two parts in one video. Yeah, he, yeah. But he, it was like I don't know if it was first. It was like the last, middle part, yeah. and then he had the last part. Yeah, Matt Schner did that. Matt shit Schner, too. yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Catch cradle. That's that's. OG, my, my man, Matt oh, Schneider. I would have never thought is. my guy had fucking like 10 minutes of footage. <laughs> Can we review Matt Schneider's <laughs> yes. Please. That's, that's legendary shit. He got some legendary ass shit. Oh my he was God. ahead of his time. Oh, no. Switch, that's for damn sure. Dude, switch, switch, switch back, back heel. Switch back, back heel. Oh, switch back big spins oh, yeah. like nothing. Yeah. Like, yeah, dude. 
Wow. Uh, we, yeah, we got to review what I'm actually doing. It would be amazing, bro. Yeah. Cat's Cradle, Raj, yes. Legend. What company was that? Get him in Planet Earth, Earth. Planet Planet Earth. He will fly from Arizona so quick. So quick. Oh, no, but he needs to be talked to regardless. That shit will be oh, a yeah. legendary-ass interview. Absolutely. Up. He's been through He's a celebrity so on Mike Mo's Twitch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's Mike Mo's best friend. Best friend. Like, bro, I love it. Amazing though. Yeah, yeah. the Costin one. Costin one, there it was go. my introduction to skate shoes and you know, obviously it's a, it's an infamous silhouette. It's one of those things that's timeless. Uh, and then obviously incorporating the technology with the air bubble that yeah. wasn't in skateboarding up until or wasn't even allowed outside of Nike up until that point. Uh right. it was just something for me that was really And this was ninety six. Yeah. That's crazy to think it about. Well Costin's one Costin one's in nineteen ninety six. I wanna say it came even before that, ninety five. No, I think it came out his did shoe? Come out, did I think it like 96, out? 97. Yeah, I was about to okay. say, it might have been like came, 97. Because it was, was right when Mouse came out. <laughs> I mean, uh, still, we're talking yeah, no, yeah, a year, yeah. Yeah. I was eight like, months. Yeah, yeah. 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 ninety, yeah, 97-ish. That's crazy. Gnarly. Yeah, that's amazing. And he's had shoes ever since. Yeah. Dude, he's wonderful. Every year yeah. that guy has, mm -hmm. if not all these new colorways, new shoes. Does he have a shoe right now? Not right now. I don't know. He's a fucking legend. Talk about legends. This is a motherfucking legend. But the, the the dope part about Eric is he's also a, a huge sneakerhead and mm. he's always been tapped into that stuff. And if you look at old photos, he's wearing, you know, like Nike chillers and shit before oh, the whole sure, transition. Yeah. Yeah. But there's always been some sort of um like incorporation from outside sport influences yep. in his shoes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's always yeah. done that. Was uh mm -hmm. the third costume, was that based off of Jordan? Uh, the Costin 3 was based off the Jordan 12. The Jordan 12. I had that right. shoe. Yeah. What about Laker the colors? What Ooh, about nice. that uh, the Costin, I think the second shoe, or the, it had to be in the second shoe from Nike. It was had had um, more golf. Yeah. Of, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he talked about that in his uh, footnotes with the barracks where the lines on the toe box were like lining up for putts. There it and is. Stuff oh. like that, too. Yeah. So sick. So yeah. it was a lot. He's always pulled inspiration from other things. And obviously, you go down the line and look at his shoes on S with the certain like elephant print he pulled from the Jordans, yeah. you know, Jordan mm -hmm. 3s and different things like that. And just to be able to start and take the air bubble that only was available to Nike and put it in an S shoe at that time, like, dude, I, crazy. I, I yeah. on Don Brown's episode, I can't remember if he talked about it or not, but I've talked to Don about this shoe a bunch. Because we have some at the office, and I think he helped design that shoe Ooh, really with Sick. with Eric, and he said it was like he had some funny stories. Like, dude, this random company sent us a box. It was just a pair of shoes. I can't remember what the name of the brand was, but it was really random. I've heard this before. Yeah, and he just like it, it had similar qualities to that, and he mm -hmm. took that and used those little panels, like the E, mm -hmm. and it was like a bunch of I think lines, I think, and he's made, he just put it on a design. On wow. the design, I mean so the like, America with the Mark, the Mark Johnson, yeah, the M, yeah, yeah, yeah. The M mm -hmm. so good, so good, yeah. so good. Well, that's great, Steezus. Yeah, 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 good Steezus. choice, dude. Amazing. Love that. Shoe and tell, man. I think Love that's a, that. I think dude. that's a shoe that a lot of skateboarders, especially our generation, could mm -hmm. like all remember. Like oh, a yeah. lot majority, of, like we all had them almost. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, that must have been crazy. I mean, Dron's case of like skating with Eric all the time and like. Just seeing these pro shoes go big. No, it was amazing. Yeah. Especially because, like, for me, like, I just started skating for DVS in 95. And then his shoes started to come out, like you said, 96, 97. And I was like, I want a pair of those. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> and I skated in those just to fuck around, you know. I was going to say the same shit. That's probably one of the craziest shoes that other people skated in yeah, with yeah. other sponsors. With other yeah, sponsors. Yeah. Like, no, no doubt. You uh, you had those. No doubt. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. And I was like, there's nothing wrong with this. I'm going to just try my friend's shoes. This is your boy. This is your boy. Support your friend. It's you know? Yeah. Just yeah. making it okay in your head. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. As long as I ain't getting no photos or really going out and putting myself out uh, there, right. I'm going to skate right. these. I'm just you know? supporting the homie. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Imagine getting a box full of Costin ones, dude, like yeah. sent to your house. Wow. Woo. I never got a chance to skate them. Oh really? Yeah. Really? Damn. I think I was maybe getting DVSs too at the mm -hmm. time or whatever shit. So I had the black and gum ones when they came out, mm -hmm. and I put white laces in, and I had an extra tongue, like a fat ass tongue, dude. 
the best. I was just sporting them. I was like just really like just sporting them. Yeah. I wasn't like I skated in them a little bit, but I just I, I just wanted to support the homie. I'm like I really like the way that this you, shoe looked. You can't deny a good looking shoe. Yeah, like and no it doubt. skated really good. Yeah, not only Definitely. did it look good, it skated well, but it was one of those versatile shoes that you could wear with jeans and shorts. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I think that's a huge, and a lot of his shoes have been like that too. But I think that's a huge thing when it comes to wearability of a shoe mm -hmm. is the the function of wearing it with multiple, you know, bottoms, whether pants, yeah, you know, sweatpants, they're, pants, they're jort ready, they're jort ready, oh, they're, they're jort ready, now, they're definitely <laughs> jort ready. Yeah, jort ready. <laughs> I mean, the jorts you could see the shoe. Yeah, but I like it when the pants hang over the shoe and the definitely, toe. Man, yeah. that's so good, bro. Yeah. The khaki joints, yeah. All right, the Costin one from yes. ES. Sick. <laughs> ES. Yeah. We just did a shoe. Um, I was on the green room talking about it with with uh, Tom the other day. It's called the Silo SC, mm. which is like we have a shoe right now called the Silo. It has like the same f features as that mm. of like the top part, but the so it has the same looking sole as or as it's like a double cup sole so it looks like mm -hmm. the costume one we did it in that colorway right there nice. oh yeah mm, so it looks oh, yeah. really really similar it's to it so like colorway yeah, yeah, bro. yeah. Really. but it's like you don't yeah. see it on shoes these days right you really like, don't you should it was, it was a time and a place for that you know what i mean i think that's what it, it, we have like a, um, a connection at that time to this colorway yeah. you know what i mean and i think yeah it, yeah it's it, time you yeah, yeah. no dude i was gonna say i just thought about like the tiago shoe kind of it's like the white one. It was did? white and royal blue. Yeah, and yellow. Mm. Yeah, I see. We, I see. We're going like, with that. Yeah, that like the white and it was like cream and navy. Yeah, yeah. on mm -hmm. that one, it was something mm -hmm. like the fuzzy suede and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. too. But then that that hit of yellow, the yellow pop. That's I think crazy. around the the tongue, like the collar of the tongue, was also yellow. If yeah, I'm not I mistaken. think so. Right, right. I so got a pair good. of those at a um, Soltech like a warehouse sale. <laughs> Do you ever go to those DC ware warehouse sales back in the day? Yeah, bro. Yeah. You would go down to San Diego. It was like the, it was like Christmas, dude. We'd go yeah. down the line for days. It was like you're lining up Supreme or some shit mm -hmm. for days, dude. and you would wait and you could pay twenty bucks for a rip pair of Rick Howards. Wow. Like, wow, it was so sick. Get yeah, that though. deal. Dude, you yeah. know what's crazy? I remember like these Stussy like sales, and like, dude, there was one in Santa Clarita, bro, out of someone's fucking house. Wow. And I remember it was like, I remember going there and it was just like mad Stussy shit. Wow. It's probably the owner's house or something? I or? don't know, but I remember being like, what no. is this? It, yeah, it wasn't like this crazy house. It was like fucking just random Just house. a random like, collector or something? I maybe? don't know. It was just like this crazy Stussy like sale type shit. And I was like, wow. whoa, dude. How many mm -hmm. been backtracking stuff for, <laughs> for a couple years something, and he decided dude. to like let loose? So crazy. <laughs> All right. Amazing. That's good. Show and tell. Shoe and tell. Shoe and tell. I want to I like shout that. out our old buddy Killer Cooler. He came up with that name. Yep. I, just, I saw it in the green room one night and I was like, I think I can work with that. Right. 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 Hey, that was And tight. that was really Thank like, you, as of recent, that was in the last like yeah. three, four weeks. Yeah. Give or take. Yeah. 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 So I just, it's not going to be every week thing not going to be top nine, but I just, it was something here and there. I'll be able to kind of pull some inspiration from things that are near and dear to my heart and yeah, kind of yeah. tell stories. A little sprinkle. Love yeah. it. Little, little sprinkle. 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 No down. Yeah. Uh, Where is that like button right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll uh, coming down the bottom. It's, it's Subscribe. over to, yeah, it's on your it's on left. Right. No, on left. your left. Hey, yeah. hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> the, the like button's kind of like in the, in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of like. Oh, it's there. like right here? Kind of. Like yeah, right there? It subscribes like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. <laughs> All right.